Okay, we're going to make an electrical circuit, and here's everything that you need. First of all, I have a battery or a power source. This is Radio Shack D battery. Then I have a holder that I bought at Radio Shack to put the D battery in. I have two pieces of electrical wire, and they're right here. They're red. It doesn't matter what color they are. Then I have a socket for my light bulb. I have a small little toggle switch, and I also have my light bulb that I'm going to put in the socket. And then in order to do this, to make it a little bit easier, I have a pair of wire strippers. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the battery, and I'm going to put the battery inside the battery holder here so that I won't have to mess with that later on and I'll have my power source. I've already stripped the ends of the wires off so that I have bare metal showing. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wires and I'm going to put them in the jaws of the wire strippers and I'm going to squeeze gently. I'm going to pull the rubber off of the end so that the bare wire is exposed and if you pull too hard you might break the wire so you don't want to do that. And then I'll do the other wire and by exposing the uh, copper inside the wire, that'll be a better conductor for the electricity. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light bulb and I'll put the light bulb in the socket so I make sure that I have that done. Then I'm going to take my power source and I'm going to run one end of the power source into the light bulb. And there's two little, I don't know if you can see them here, but there's two little circles on these posts. And it doesn't matter which one goes where. And I'm going to run the wire through one of those metal posts and then I'm going to bend it back and then once I get it bent back I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to take one of the pieces of wires that I have and I'm going to run it through the other post. And once I get that run through I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bend it back and I'm going to twist it. Now if you really wanted to make sure that this was secure we would wrap this with electrical tape but we're not going to do that today because we have a little bit of time constraint here. And it looks like I'm going to end up with an extra piece of wire. So I'm going to take this wire and then I'm going to run again. I'm going to run one of the, uh, there's two metal posts on the bottom of the switch. I'm going to run the other end of my loose wire through one of those circles in the bottom of the switch. And I'm going to bend it back. And as I bend it back, I'm going to twist it so it'll stay. And then I'm going to take the other end of my power source here and I'm going to put it through the switch and I'm going to bend it back and then I'm going to twist it and then I have the light bulb and if I turn the switch on the light bulb it'll come on and that's all you need to do to create electrical circuit I flip the switch the light bulb goes off so all I have is the light bulb the battery with the container for the power source and then I have the switch now if the two the two parts here on the bottom, if they touch accidentally, then the light bulb is going to go off and that's going to complete the circuit. But I don't want that to happen, so I might take electrical tape and, and wrap that up a little bit later on. So the switch is off and I go ahead and I flip the switch and the light is on and that's how you do your project. If you get all the parts, it should take you about five minutes.